could I lose to him? I just knew that you'd be back soon as I heard you face the champion of Elysium himself. You know, I've heard that among mortals, it's an honor to be killed by somebody like Theseus. Keep it up and maybe you'll be famous too. Maybe. Elysium is up in arms again because of you. I understand you have attempted to persuade our court musician to resume his craft. That is among the relatively useful tasks to which you have applied yourself of late. I can't be completely sure, but what you said just now, I think contains some of the component pieces of a compliment? I'm certain that your boasts and twists of words shall soon inspire him to greater acts of compositional superiority one of these days or nights. Your methods didn't seem to do the trick. The hellish watchdog snarls at the listless shades crowding about the court. What news of late about Eurydice, my friend? She is as delicate as I described, no doubt. Ah, but I am dwelling on her once again, it seems. I knew she was a talented musician, mate, but you never let on that she is an amazing chef as well. She's been hospitable to me each time we've met, though you still seem to be a bit of a sore subject. How very understandable indeed. Were I to have been failed to be rescued from the depths of hell, mere moments from escape, I too would be quite cross with my attempted rescuer. And for quite some time. I'm working on it, mate. Don't tell me I'm in trouble, am I, Prince? Mistakes are proof that you're doing your best. Um, Nix, you don't suppose Charon would hold it against me if we had a little fight? To the death, I mean. None of Charon's brothers ever dared fight with him whilst growing up. Why would you fathom such a ruinous idea, child? It kind of already happened. And I can confirm he's rather strong. Something I can do to make it up to him? Probably not, for it is unnecessary. Likely he appreciates having an adversary in his own way. Few would so much as dare. A friendly rivalry it is, then. You've been through hell more times than you can count by now, haven't you, Zag? You getting used to it? No wonder that you're friends with Sisyphus. I'm getting used to it, all right. I'll keep going, for as many chances as it takes. I look forward to our next appointment out there. Appointment, indeed. Don't keep me waiting. For all your toil, I'm sure you're not even close. We'll see. Got you some more of that contraband you like. Don't suppose I could help you put it away or anything? Look at me, Zag. You think that all these gifts will make things go back to the way they were? They won't. It isn't possible. We may be immortals, but we're older now. I'd hope we're wiser, too. for Achilles. Greetings, chef. Totally worth it. Work approved. This color ought to suit the hole back there. It was perfectly acceptable before. Let's go with this. Back there, let's change the color theming up a little bit. Make up your mind. 
Approved. This is the color suited for our hall back there. A garish hue. Contractor, work approved. How about a moody blue color of some sort for the drapery there? Here's the commission. A nice floral arrangement ought to lighten up the mood a little bit. You are too kind. You would associate my house with flowers, boy. What do you know? This came true. The contract has been plenty busy thanks to me. Let's make it happen. I'll have to keep an eye out for this next time out there. You think the contractor is going to help you? This ought to help Orpheus keep his boundless libraries of music in order. Just have to fill it in. Oh my. Our court musician need not be so indulged. Some new music. This. It is not music hour yet. Listen.
Sometimes I think this mess you call your chambers is one which you've cultivated with great pride. Is that the way of it? I take some pride in making messes, yes. with Koronokt. Now I can hit a bullseye in my sleep, but you'll be right there with me if I don't keep practicing, I think. Fishies. Your mind. What do you know, a hellfish?
Olympus, I accept this message. More numbskulls? Certainly you've the wherewithal to thin the ranks of the betraying river denizens who fled my surface seas to your father's domain. I bid you good fish hunting forevermore. Escape my notice, boy. Made them mad. all the time we have. Gemstones, and a little extra for Charon. Wretches of the underworld, this is your chance. Stones. Oh, curse of chaos. Nice and cool. Why not? 
Parasite and won't mind. Know something, Red Blood? Try as I might, I still have not forgiven you for beating me last time. Call it a crippling character flaw, I don't know. Forgiveness can take time, though self-reflection is a healthy step. We're making progress. You think we're making progress? Here? <laughs> Why, you piece of trash? I'll show you progress. has expired. Mine. Let's hear it, Father. How many times? Closer to the surface. Hot up here.
enough. Let's see what else. Moving right along. Marketplace here, huh? I can use this. already found you, Zacrius. She takes my orders well. One cannot blame her, for she'd have nothing to hunt if not for me. I'm sure Lady Artemis won't mind. Shiny. She's not singing. It's only me. What happens now, hon? What I mean is, now you got me thinking about Orpheus again. So, what am I supposed to do with that? Even if you can't be together right now, I hope it feels better knowing how much he cares for you. And I will try to pull some strings like you said. 
I can't make promises where my father's concerned, but I'll do everything I can. Well, what can I tell you? Thanks, Your Royal Majesty. That means a lot. No pressure, though. I've been all right without him all this time, and I will be all right no matter what. If only he could say the same. Take him.
That's all the heads. Darkness. How could you, boy? That Hydra had a family. Not in the mood for your jesting, father. Let's slay some heroes then. style. Assistant Sagrius. All of you, prepare to die again. 
excluding me, I hope. Whoops. Sorry. You're just testing me here, right, Charon? I mean, when you place a huge sum of coin conspicuously within my reach, what do you expect me to do? Sounds good, mate. When I rob you from now on, it's just my way of saying, Charon, I would like to battle you to the death right now for a quick change of pace. Let's settle this like gentlemen, Charon. I'm empty. wasn't too agreeable back there. 
You cannot keep falling asleep on the job like this, Hypnos. This is completely unacceptable. Oh, I just nodded off a little while, Thanatos. I rest easy knowing that you're here. But if I goofed, why, I guess you could kill me dead or something, huh? Don't give me any ideas. Pull yourself together and quit slacking off. The house needs help and you've got a job to do. Now get to it. Oof. I always meant to ask you, Orpheus. Where did you learn to sing like that? Was it really Apollo himself who taught you? Oh, why? I learned from many different sources, Agrius. That is, before all of my inspiration started coming from a single source. I credit my accomplishments to her and to Apollo and the gods. And to considerable time spent practicing. It certainly paid off. Maybe you'll have something more affordable next time. Here you go. House contractor, I have a new job for you. Well, I don't see why not. These decorative laurels are to give us an appreciable touch of dignity, no doubt. You would squander your earnings on that. My records indicate that you've collected earnings based on some of your accomplishments there, boy. I suppose you need an income of your own, having decided to cut ties and all. What, you mean the bounties that you've offered up to anybody capable of beating Meg and all your other guardians out there? Don't you think that puts a lot of undue pressure on them, knowing that you've turned them into targets? They must do better than they have, else they shall be replaced. If they're to grow in their respective roles, they have to know their weaknesses. And so do I. That you collect the bounties for it matters not. What about the bounties for vanquishing you? Who's your replacement going to be? Enough! Get out! <laughs> Cerberus is uninterested in conversing at this time. Be gone from there. Achilles, have you ever run across the Shade of Daedalus in all your time? I found some of his legendary hammers out there, but no sign of him. I've never met him, no. Your father keeps him fully occupied with building out his underworld and renovating constantly. No wonder some of his old crafting tools are strewn about. I take it you've been able to make use of them? Indeed I have. Hello, I'll only be a moment. Remember, hang in there. Nix, I've come to know the god of swiftness, Hermes, though it seems to me he doesn't work directly with the others on Olympus. Do you know him well? Lord Hermes is a point of contact, yes. Among Olympians, he works the closest with our operations here, and aids with shepherding the souls of the departed to our gates. Accept his help, for he is faithful to our cause. I get it. Thank you, Nix. What's new? Freshly caught, just for you, Chef. All right, then. The house contractor, up in lights. Um, Meg? <laughs> Meg. 
Oh, I was not expecting company. Were you just casually snooping, or is there something I can help you with? I was just leaving, Zagreus. Happened to be in the area, no thanks to you, and thought I'd go retrieve the last of my possessions. I have to say, you've really let this place go to hell. She left. Great. Wonderful. I guess we'll just go back to killing each other repeatedly then. Not even tired, thanks. That's one prophecy out of the way. I shall procure all the fishes. I think we'll go with this. Think I've outgrown my other bed. Not that there's been a lot of time for sleep of late. You do not need another plastic bed. With its just right softness and death themed embroidery, the new bedding of Prince Zagreus is the envy of all those who wish to rest in peace. Already bought it. No need to sell me on it, old man. Which to choose?
everyone.